So now that you have your homemade battery, you can start making the, the resin that goes inside. So what you need for the resin is uh, any kind of soda. And then what you do is you take a lemon, like this one, you slice it open. And you start squeezing the moist of the lemon onto the soda, just like that. Try to get as much as the moist out of it as you can, because this is what contains the parts that can be recharged and can be used as a battery. Also collect the, the slush that uh, is left behind. So now that you have collected um, the moist, you can keep on adding the soda until the lemon juice is mixed with the soda into a paste. Yeah, there you go, that looks good. So mix it as well as you can with the soda so that the paste is very consistent. Now it is ready to use for your battery. So as you can see the resin is uh, sitting inside of the coil. I have finished my battery. As you can see uh, the battery is closed up with uh, hot glue on both uh, sides and I will now test uh, how much voltage it's, it's, it, it, it's giving me with this uh, device. Yes, you see there you go 1.6 volts. So 1.6 volts that's just a little bit more than a, than a standard AA battery. So now to see the power behind this let's connect the battery to this motor. I will just put the wires on the yeah there you go it's running that's awesome guys it actually has quite a lot of power as you can see oh, yeah there you go again yeah if you have any questions about it please let me know leave a comment and like the video if you absolutely like the video you should subscribe to my channel for more of those videos thank you for watching and see you next time